Hi guys. Maybe the vlog or I don't know. There's Andy. Hi. Sama sama na siya pag go vlog ko. So mag vlog ko, we have to make a pass. Paninindig ako ito, pagiging vlogger. Gagong vlogger niya. Number two now is very important. Again, number two, which is developmental reading, as indicated in this uh, definition, is very important. Why? Remember, the curriculum right now for students is quite different. We are now into the K-12 program. And one feature of the K-12 program is, of course, that of the mother tongue-based uh, multilingual education. So again, I need to state that of, of the meaning of the acronym FEB, MLE. So it's mother tongue based multilingual education. Uh, this one will focus on the mother tongue. For example, how many of you came from the provinces? Is there anyone who came from the provinces? <coughs> Question, what was your dominant or your first language in that particular uh, province? In your case, uh, <laughs> what which one is more dominant? Is it Ibadan or is it Anyone else comes from the provinces? It's very important that's why you're asking it. Jesse. 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 Can I do my own? Jessie's not even raising her hand, but yes, you know, Jessie. Sir, I got a book. Moves. What? 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 No offense to Jesse and how Isabella would actually practice mother tongue based education, but that's true, cool. it's a possibility. Anyone else? Come from the province as well? Uh, Pia? Yeah. 
elementary. Okay. That's the Pico dialect. Okay. Unlike, of course, again, I think the three people who gave all the answers, okay. it would be Jesse who's quite clear on the, the answer because she's coming from oh, well. Samela. And yet, uh, the language which is Ilocano is not used. Right. Okay. I do not know what would be the reason behind that. that but that is a strong possibility. So under MTB, MNE, and of course under the Kingdom program, as teachers of these young leaders, the way to teach them, just about anything, all areas except of course for English and, and Filipino, would have to be through the mother tongue. Whatever is the dialect in that area, up until grade 3. They know <coughs> until grade three. Well, of course, uh, even if that is the matter <coughs> of the law, on my part as a language educator, I find it clear. Because imagine English, if you are going to be uh, cognizant of MCB, MNP, English is going to be introduced only when the student is already on grade four. You and I know that your parents introduced you to English earlier than grade four. And raise your hand if your parents would have this strong tendency when you were your, when you were younger to greatly expose you more to English rather than Filipino. Again, your parents have the very yes. strong tendency <laughs> to expose you more to English rather than <laughs> So this is not bragging, this is not bragging, but let's give certain examples. <laughs> Is there anyone who could give uh, an experience or two? Eric! 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 Lately, she took BSE. Uh, this was before me doing in English. And when she was in class, all of the teachers recognized her as a foreigner. Not because of the skin tone, not because she's mestiza. <laughs> but because of how she spoke. And we have recognized it since we are uh, language teachers. It really came from us that we said, oh, uh, Miss Garay Guy is Australian or New Zealander. Yes, her name is Riva Garay Guy. Just imagine, with Riva, well, it's okay, it may sound foreign, but the Garay Guy is Undeniably, <laughs> undeniably natural in his brow. But when she spoke, it's either we're confused either she's Australian or New Zealand. And when we asked, why is it that you speak that way if you're not a foreigner? And her response was that it is because my parents exposed me to Sesame Street. And that's the only thing that she was watching when she was younger. The parents had it in VHS. Parents got it in VHS. on the TV. Okay. So she did not have any 